Today's collectible spot, we are having a look at the 9 to 5 Wario's. We're having a look at the trading cards Tetra boxes. Nine to five warriors. If you guys remember those, Spot did a review of the trading cards and uh, picked myself up a couple of other uh, nine to five goodies. One of which being the nine to five Wario's Tetra boxes. There's actually trading cards inside this, but I figured before we have a look at the trading cards, let's look at the really cool box that came uh, with the cards inside. On the front, we have several of the warriors. A battle in every bite, free prize inside. And it's roughly about the same size as the Tetra Boxes. Do you guys remember Tetra, tetra Boxes uh, from back? Well, I think they're still around now, but they weren't, they're not as big now as they were back in the day. Back in the day, which by the way also was a Wednesday, back in the 80s, there were Tetra Boxes that had everything from Frosted Flakes, Corn Pops, Rice Krispies, you name it, was in there. Um, and uh, you could have really essentially a cereal every a different cereal every single day. Maybe it is. Maybe they're still around now. I don't know. I don't... I eat healthy cereal. I don't get involved in unhealthy cereal too much now because I'm an adult and I have to watch what I'm eating. Anyways, sad story aside. Anyways, the 9 to 5 Wari O's Tetra boxes have trading cards inside before we look at that. Though the side of the box, 9 to 5 Warriors is an important part of this nutritious breakfast. One of the characters is also stepping down the nutrition facts, which is kind of clever as well. Hey kids, it's five o'clock, time for battle. Can you spot all nine hidden warriors? Okay, let's have some fun. Let's have some fun, see if we can spot all of them. There's nine, there's nine of them. There's one there, one, two, three. There's one in the trash can, you see him right there. I think there's four in the water cooler. Hmm. Five. There's one in the um, blind there. There's one in the cupboard. Six. Hmm. I don't know if you would count this guy. Six, seven, right there. We're missing two. Oh, they're there. They're somewhere in there. On the underside of the box, we've got warning. What goes into the trash might come back out. That's actually a good smart lesson to be learned about everything. Don't just throw garbage away. Like really give it some thought. Realize what you can do to recycle. Very profound spot. Let's okay, let's open up the Chetra box here. By the way, if you guys are interested in picking these up for yourself, of course Spot will have always provide the link down below for you guys. You guys can pick them up for yourselves. I also like that they give you the wax packs. The wax packs are these. Back in the day, I don't even think. See, I'm dating myself again. I don't think now cards have wax packs. Wax packs are like these, where there's actually a wax uh, wrap. Choose your side, the water cooler commandos, the break room bandits. As the two, two forces clash over total office domination, collect the entire set of 9 to 5 Warriors cards. I can't even remember. This is also Series 1, but I can't even remember if they came with gum. That would be the ultimate. Although gum would ruin trading cards. They leave like this powdery residue everywhere. The first box of cards, we got ourselves the toaster. The toaster is the break room bandit's only defense against air combat, capable of launching fiery assault against water cooler commando aircraft. This makeshift controls don't make it the most accurate, but it's the explosive pastry shells are sure to pop your tarts. See what they did there. Number nine, collect 28 of the nine to five Warriors first series cards. As, as a side note, why is it that toasters have such a high temperature gauge? Normally people would probably set it to about maybe one and one and two or the low setting, but why is there such a maximum setting? Who wants to incinerate their toast? It's just a side thought I have. The toaster. Also got ourselves close call. 
Oh, actually it goes this way. Close call. After the WCC Group convoy is hit by a bandit ambush, Major Eraser and Tech Sergeant Scotchy uh, take to the ceiling to rid the trenches of leftover scum. Meanwhile, an incoming missile from the toaster nearly ends the commando's life supply. We have Wise Grand Maxter. Oh, actually, I think I got this card before. Plugged into the very surge, into the very surge protector whose spark ignited a war. It's Maxter. Although mostly forgotten, the eleventh creation acts uh, as a mentor to the water cooler commandos. After all, being connected to the World Wide Web makes him the brightest display on the desk. We also have the first shift. It's actually card number one, the first shift. The Razor Cycle. I don't know if they've actually made toys, but I gotta say, the imagine that as a vehicle. I'm just actually, I'm, I'm pausing to actually think about it right now. That'd be neat. Scrolling uh, at scrolling by at its high speeds with the ability to maneuver hairpin turns comes the Razor Cycle. This little hot wheel is the perfect scout vehicle for the water cooler commanders. Custard and his team must be weary of rat tail USB cable. Otherwise, it's right back to delete for the bandits. Or right click delete. Okay. The Dustbusters. A power outage in the office forces Corporal Can on a hunt for batteries to power his communication box and link up with the team. Unfortunately, the darkness only means it's feeding time for those pesky dust bunnies. You see all the little dust bunnies in the background there? I think he is in trouble. If he's not careful, he might be assaulted. Ah, ah, okay. The next pack of trading cards. You know what? Let's bring the camera back a little bit. Sometimes Spot doesn't gauge how close this camera is until I'm editing. I'm like, whoa, that's close. Didn't need it to be so close. We got Deep Seated Rage. We also have Brotherly Loathe. Let's read. I don't want to read up on every single one of them, but let's read up the back of this one. As Major Eraser's right-hand man, Lieutenant Lead is the perfect supply for the job. Don't be fooled by his eraser head. There's nothing dull about him. Unlike his brother, number two lacks discipline and, and respect for authority. Although they stem from the same pencil, their broken ends will never unite again. Got calling reinforcements. The 9 to 5 Warrior Synopsis, we'll actually read this one. On the back, there's a checklist of all the cards that you can get. Oops, let's not drop it. The 9 to 5 Warrior Synopsis, a warm cup of joe isn't the only thing brewing inside the cubicles of McMillian, McMill, McMillan's, oh God, McMillan's Plastic Company. Underneath the desk is a full-scale war between the water cooler commandos, WCC, and the break room bandits. During regular business hours, these 9-to-5 warriors move in the shadows, but when it's quitting time, the real work begins. It all started when a can of Jingsei, Jingsei, a potent foreign energy drink, is accidentally spilled onto the surge protector that electrifies a trash can full of discarded supplies and food. Soon after coming into existence, the group of ten split into two factions of five. Led by the battle-hardened Major Eraser, a supply known to fix any mistake the WCC put in over time to thwart the evil mastermind of the bandits, Colonel Custard. This mad doe is hell-bent on total office domination after realizing the power of Jinsei. Uh, now he and his rotten goons search the office for every last drop, creating new, to uh, new and loyal soldiers along the way. Will the commandos sweep the office free of leftover trash, or will the bandits reign supreme and they retire the supplies for good? Only time will tell. When you punch out, they come punching in. They're the 9-to-5 warriors. We also have uh, Hourly Rage. And Out of Service. Are you hungry? Uh, I think I'll go to the next vending machine. Thank you. The next wax pack is, got ourselves another Razor Cycle. Explosions Specialist. Uh, M. 
No Ferti Gawk. Let's read up more about this because I know Spot just butchered that. Our warriors fear not what's beyond the yellow lines of the great lot of parking, seizing any opportunity to discover new territories, even if it means using a shortcut or two. Scotchy is always up for the challenge, as he is a fan of heights, repelling, or anything that gets his heart rolling. Loud and clear. Another razor cycle. And splash zone. Don't let her appearance fool you, this beauty is a beast. Specialist Sugar's ability to shift into practically any object makes her Colonel Custard's go-to gal. With her by, her by his side, the duo seem unstoppable. When the battle begins, the commandos begin to dissolve her fast. Opening up another pack. We have two packs left. We have another close call. Release the hounds. Those look like staple removers. I used to always prick my fingers on staple removers. I don't know why. I'm just I'm an idiot. Known simply as the retrievers, these supply seekers will shred and chomp their way through anything to drive out the commando forces. No supply can get by their steel jaws and supreme sense of smell. They're the staple force of Bandit's front line. We have Battle Rat, uh, Liquid Courage, BLT, Big Load of Trouble, and Freezer Burn. The last and final pack to this adventure we've gone on for the 9 to 5 Wario's Tetra Box, Tetra Box of Cards, Dustbusters. M no Ferti Gawk. I think I did that a little bit better this time. Call in reinforcements. Mexican chip off. <laughs> That's so cool. Close call. And finally, the razor cycle. Get these cards together. I have some card sheets and a binder. They're just waiting for these cards to be added. That's exactly what I'll do. If you guys are interested in finding out more from the 9 to 5 Warriors, I'm going to provide the link down below to a really cool cartoon. This kind of also, well, it's not so much a cartoon, but a really great idea that should potentially be a cartoon. It reminds me of something that I would have seen when, uh, you know, certainly back in the 80s, when Spot was a wee child looking and watching cartoons. Today, though, today's collectible spot, we're having a look at the 9 to 5 Wario's Tetra Box of Trading Cards. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more videos heading your way. Thanks for watching. See you next time.